this part through the tutorial for Market Watch, and now you're talking about um, the resources you have and how you should use them to buy the right stocks and hopefully win your game. So on the homepage of Market Watch, as you can already see, it shows you right here date, time, and the three markets: the one in New York, London, and Tokyo. All three are closed because it's 10:30 at night Eastern, but the way it's going to play in is when you buy and sell your stocks. So if you put in a trade at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time for the New York, st for the New York start stock market, that trade's not going to go through till 9.30 the next morning because that's when the market's going to open. But if you can put in a trade while it's open between 9.30 and 4, then that trade will go through that second. The reason this is going to matter is because a stock can change from a matter of pennies to dollars at the end of a day compared to the beginning of a day so if let's say it ends tomorrow monday it ends the day at four dollars and then tuesday it starts out at twenty four dollars so i'm going to be overpaying by twenty dollars in one day if i set my uh, buying to be after four or after the close of the market so it's going to do it the second it starts and usually anything that trades will never happen but it can so that's why you always want to be careful you usually want to have your stocks your trades finished by the end of the day or just wait till the next day apart from that you have mail all over the place but if you go into your own market watch and you go into your game so if you go into your own market watch and go into your own game and you go into your portfolio whatever stocks you do have here okay I don't have any right now but if I did have any down here it would give me news and stuff for every single one of my stocks so if it says uh, my stock is like you know predicting to go down like forty dollars the next week then I want to sell it this week so then next week I don't have it when it's forty dollars cheaper because that would just be bad and then maybe I can sell this week it goes on $40 I buy it again $40 lower it'll go back up and then I sell it at its peak again the whole point is to make money now let's say you figured out how the site works and everything and you're ready to buy a stock I'm gonna go over to the Yahoo to show how to pick a good stock so we're gonna pick a stock that I've invested in before called NNBR The current price is at eight dollars and twenty nine cents. Uh, on Friday, it ranged from eight dollars and twenty five cents to eight dollars and forty seven cents. Now, let's say I buy it Monday morning at that second for eight twenty nine, and let's say I buy a thousand shares, and then it ends the day eight forty seven, and I sell it at like the last minute for eight forty seven. Then basically, I'm going to be making that twenty or so cents for every single thousand stock for uh, every single stock out of a thousand. So it actually, ends up being a good amount after the end. But the 52 weight range, you can see it's four dollars and forty-seven cents on the downside. So it's the lowest it's been in a year, and then nineteen dollars and thirty-nine cents on the high side. It's the highest it's been in a year. So basically, I have a chance to either lose four dollars or gain ten dollars. So that's how I can tell if it's a good or bad stock. The same can be done for other stocks such as Apple. Apple right now sold for $572.98 on Friday when the market closed. It's down $14 so far. The day's range was f uh, $570 to $594. So that's $24 on one day, the variant. And then for the 52 weeks, it's been $310 on the low end and then $644 on the high end. So I have basically a chance to lose. Two hundred and sixty dollars, or a chance to make seventy dollars. So, do I want to buy this stock or not? Let's go to Google. Close on Friday at five dollars and ninety six cents. Uh, five dollars, five hundred and ninety six dollars. Days range is five ninety five to six oh eight. Fifty two week is four seventy three to six seventy. So I have a chance to lose one hundred and thirty dollars. I have a chance to make 
seventy dollars. It you have to keep in your mind though. Usually it'll stay in between this fifty-two week range. There is a chance it'll completely break it. Either you could go flat broke or you could be a millionaire, depending on what actually happens. But usually it'll stay within this fifty-two week range, or somewhere around it at least. What this should tell you is that any type of well-developed stock, such as Google or Apple, there's really no point in buying unless you plan to hold on to it for a very, very long time. It's much smarter to grab a small stock like NNBR, which is selling for a couple of bucks, versus something that's selling for $600, because there's much more room for improvement, uh, much more room for improvement than there is for failure. Looks like AVEO. 52 week high is $21.55. 52 week low is $10.42. You can lose 20 cents or you can make $11. I bet almost no one watching this video has, has ever heard of this company. It's not completely developed, but there's plenty of room for improvement. There's little to no room for failure. And that's how you're going to decide what stocks to buy.